Hey, welcome folks at home. I'm Mike Tarosia with Tom Nappy, and we're going to bring you the elections results live. The polls just closed. It's 8 o'clock, and the counting has begun. They're taking the signs off the driveway, and uh, hopefully people will start coming into the auditorium here, and we'll bring you some conversations. But, Tom, they had a little a couple races today. They certainly did five contested races this year. Uh, one of those contested races, Board of Selectmen, uh, you had Brian Herr, Patrick Atwell, and Irfan Asrula. Three candidates up for two seats. And then you had a contested race in the Board of Health with uh, Michael King and uh, Richard Jacobs, one seat for two candidates. And then Board of Library Trustees, you had Nayanette Kenrick and Stanley Polnick, one seat available for the two candidates. And then the other contested races included Planning Board, three candidates, two seats available, Deborah Feinberg, Mark Hyman, and Mary Larson Marlowe. And then School Committee, also a contested race. You had two seats available, uh, three candidates are running, Kristen Dykstra, Amanda Fargiano, and Meg Tyler. Yeah, with that race too, none of those uh, running for re-election. They're all brand new. Outgoing John Graziano and Gene Birchman just finished their last meeting on Thursday, yep. um, and they had a lot of goodbyes, a lot of hugs, a lot of tears, and uh, and they they had a nice little turnout for them. Um, but it's nice to see five contested races. Right. You know, it's it's been a while. It's it's nice that the people are, are now getting themselves involved more. Um, it, it's great to see. Well, as we know, Hopkinton is a great community, and that is uh, a lot uh, because there's so many people that want to get involved and help out their community. Right. Uh, it, never, it, it seems that Hopkinton's never had a lack of volunteers wanting to get involved with the community program. Right, there's a lot of things, but when it comes to running for office, there's a lot of time, you know, especially like those planning boy guys. You know, they go to uh, not just those meetings, but they're walking sites. Right. They're going to plan reviews. They're, they're going crazy. They certainly are. I mean, the Board of Selectmen Planning Board meetings are, what, four or five hours long uh, every other week. That's a big commitment alone. Yeah. And then you got all the prep work that you got to do for the meetings. and All the uh, budget work that they right. have to work out and all the little projects they do on their own, like uh, the school committee with the, um, uh, the fields project going on. Yeah, that was that was a big undertaking, and, and uh, so and they also have to be liaisons to other meetings. Right. You know, so it's a big commitment. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work to do, and and, the, and they get paid nothing. They're exactly. all volunteers, and yep. that's what's wonderful about this town. That's and that's one thing to keep in mind about all these positions. I mean, all these people running, they're all volunteers. They're all uh, they all just want to help the community. That's it. And make they want to do what's best. Right. Exactly. So. Uh, well, listen, we're going to be a little while here while we wait for, uh, for kind of uh, Dagan uh, to come out of, uh, out of the gymnasium. Right, he's uh, counting up all those uh, ballots right now. So. Yeah, I think all the ap ap absentees are done. Yep. That they're going to uh, count up all the write-ins because there's always a bunch of write-ins. Somebody always has to write in something. And uh, then the people are picking up their signs outside. We've got to redirect them here because normally we're in the cafeteria. But the auditorium was much cooler, so we decided to move it on into here. It's what a beautiful day it was to be outside hanging out. Yeah, it yeah. certainly was. So, it was. It was fun calling us off. But what, what we're going to do is we're going to go see if we can get some stats, uh, some prelim get information, get, you know, number of voters, so on and so forth. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a little break, and Bob is going to... Uh, but we'll be coming back with yeah. updates uh, throughout the course of the night until, of course, uh, the town clerk, Connor Deegan, comes right. with the results. Uh, so be sure to keep checking HCAM because we're going to be on and off uh, all night uh, sure. updating you with information as we get it. Right. And while we wait, Bob's going to uh, play us some music. And right. we'll go and dance our way over to the polls. DJ Bob, take it away. All right, folks, the counting is done, and our town clerk is here to read off those results. All yours, Mr. Clerk. Thank you very much, Mike. For the annual town election held in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, May 21st, 2018, the results per by precinct are Precinct 1, Board of Selectmen, 
Blanks, 124. Brian J. Herr, 255. Patrick Atwell, 179. Irfan Nasrula, 290. Write ins, 4. Board of Assessors, Blanks, 95. Leslie A. Ficari, 328. Write ins, 3. Board of Health, Blanks, 32. Michael James King, 243. Richard P. Jacobs, 150. Write ins, 1. Board of Library Trustees, Blanks, 55. Nanette A. Kenrick, 136. Stanley D. Polnick, 234. Write ins, 1. Cemetery Commissioner, Blanks, 83. Thomas F. Pratt, 340. Write ins, 3. Trust Fund Commissioners, Blanks, 108. Janine Susan LeBlanc, 315. Write ins, 3. Constable, Blanks, 127. Francis J. Durso, 292. Write ins, 7. Parks and Recreation, Blanks, 241. Robert T. Dubinsky, 308. Daniel F. Terry, 291. Write ins, 12. Planning Board, Blanks, 128. Deborah S. Feinbrug, 277. Mark J. Hyman, 187. Mary Larson Marlowe, 258. Write ins, 2. School Committee, Blanks, 131. Kristen A. Dykstra, 190. Amanda F. Fargiano, 274. Margaret B. Tyler, 255. Write ins, 2. For Precinct 2, Board of Selectmen, Blanks, 156. Brian J. Hur, 249. Patrick Atwell, 173. Irfan Nasrula, 268. Write ins, 2. Board of Assessors, Blanks, 97. Leslie A. Ficari, 325. Write ins, 2. Board of Health, Blanks, 35. Michael James King, 275. Richard P. Jacobs, 113. Write ins, 1. Library Trustees, Blank, 62. Nanette Kenrick, 126. Stanley D. Polnick, 236. Write ins, 0. Cemetery Commissioner, Blanks, 89. Thomas F. Pratt, 334. Write ins, 1. Trust Fund Commissioners, Blanks, 110. Janine Susan LeBlanc, 312. Write ins, 2. Constable, Blanks, 140. Francis J. Durso, 280. Write ins, 4. Parks and Recreation, Blanks, 278. Robert Dubinsky, 279. Daniel F. Terry, 287. Write ins, 4. Planning Board, Blanks, 148. Deborah S. Feinbrug, 249. Mark J. Hyman, 201. Mary Larson Marlowe, 247. Write ins, 3. School Committee, Kristen A. Dykstra, 176. Blanks, 170. Amanda F. Fargiano, 259. Margaret B. Tyler, 242. Write ins, 1. <clears throat> Precinct 3. Board of Selectmen, Blanks, 139. Brian J. Hur, 201. Patrick Atwell, 130. Irfan Nasrula, 241. Write ins, 1. Board of Assessors, Blanks, 90. Leslie A. Fakari, 266. Write ins, 0. Board of Health, Blanks, 39. Richard James King, sorry, Michael James King, 225. <clears throat> Richard P. Jacobs, 92, write ins, zero. Board of Library Trustees, blanks, 53. Nanette A. Kenrick, 99. Stanley D. Polnick, 204, write ins, zero. Cemetery Commissioner, blanks, 74. Thomas F. Pratt, 282, write ins, zero. Trust Fund Commissioner, blanks, 98. Janine Susan LeBlanc, 258. Write in zero. Constable, blanks 109. Francis J. Durso, 242. 
Right ends five. Parks and Recreation, blanks 223. Robert T. Dubinsky, 243. Daniel F. Terry, 238. Right ends eight. Planning Board, blanks 129. Deborah S. Feinbrug, 213. Mark J. Hyman, 158. Mary Larson Marlowe, 208. Right ends four. School Committee, blanks 143. Kristen A. Dystra, 129. Amanda F. Fargiano, 217. Margaret B. Tyler, 223. Right ends zero. And finally, Precinct 4. Board of Selectmen, blanks 114. Brian J. Herr, 170. Patrick Atwell, 119. Irfan Nasrullah, 207. Right ends two. Board of Assessors, Blank 67, Leslie A. Ficari, 237, right ends 2. Board of Health, blanks 36, Michael James King, 199, Richard P. Jacobs, 71, right ends 0. Board of Library Trustees, blanks 46, Nanette Kenrick, 99, Stanley D. Polnick, 161, right ends 0. Cemetery Commissioner, blanks 47, Thomas F. Pratt, 256, right ends 3. Trust Fund Commissioner, blank 71. Janine Susan LeBlanc, 234, right ends 1. Constable, blank 77. Francis J. Durso, 227, right ends 2. Parks and Recreation Commission, blanks 183. Robert T. Dubinsky, 218. Daniel F. Terry, 205, right in 6. Planning Board, blanks 93. Deborah S. Feinbrug, 200. Mark J. Hyman, 123. Mary Larson Marlowe, 195, right ends 1. School Committee, blanks 137. Kristen A. Dykstra, 117. Amanda F. Fargiano, 174. Margaret B. Tyler, 184, right in 0. Thank you very much. That concludes the results of the election. Those results are unofficial and do not include the write-ins as of yet, but we will have those listed in the official results. Thank you everyone for coming out to vote who did. And I don't have any of our totals quite yet, but I'll be posting those up in the morning and sending them out to all the local media to list out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, they had it. Hopefully you all had your calculators out and you were adding all those numbers up. I know Tom was, and uh, we all know how much Tom is a big math major. Tom, how, how, how'd that look? What do you get for the winners, the unofficial? Well, the unofficial winners, we'll just uh, run through them real quick. Uh, for Board of Selectmen, it appears Brian Herr and Irfan Nasrula have won uh, spots on the selectmen. And then uh, for Board of Health, it looks like Michael James King uh, will stay on the Board of Health. Okay. Uh, he was running to be reelected yep. uh, against Rick Jacobs. And then for the Board of Library Trustees, it appears Stanley Polnick uh, is going to have a seat on the Board of Library Trustees. And then for Parks and, or actually that wasn't contested, but on uh, the Planning Board, oh it's going to be Deborah Feinbrug and Mary Larson Marlowe for the Planning Board. And then as far as the school, school committee, it's a different page. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it looks Love the technology. It looks like it is going to be Amanda Fargiano and Meg Tyler for the school committee. Of yeah, course, pretty uh, good turnout. Huh? Did they get a total number for the turnout? Uh, they did. I got, I got to do some more math on this yet. Math? But so that means you'll <laughs> take a while. But while you're adding that stuff up, I see they got the a school committee turnout. winner over there, Amanda Fargiano, who. Uh, agreed to talk to us a little bit, so let's. Uh, you, I'll, I'll let you do math, and we'll uh, we'll come over to catch Amanda. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So, so is this uh, your first time you ever ran anything like this? This is my first time running for anything, any elected office. Not um, even high school class secretary or anything like that. No? I think I was treasurer in high school. You were treasurer a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried uh, vice president once, and that wasn't too much fun. Although the kids loved all the lollipops I gave out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Buying right. votes. Buying votes. Not it's frowned upon. That's right. <laughs> so what? Back when you could give away candy in school. Um, 
what was this experience like for you running in Patterson, local politics? How, what was it like? Uh, it, it was a big learning experience. I've never done this before. As I said, I'm an unenrolled voter, so I didn't have a party affiliation and a sort of party um, mm -hmm. support behind me. But um, I learned a lot. My favorite part of the campaigning was talking to so many people about their experiences and their concerns about their kids and the education. Right. I met some great people. People. So I'm hoping that now that I'm elected, the conversations continue right. because I really like to hear the stories. Sure. Now, I know you've been involved in the community for a little while. Is this your first time standing in uh, the little, uh, the, what I like to call the gauntlet? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Thankfully, we had really good weather today. A yeah. uh, great group of people. Everybody, you know, is in good spirits. But, yes, all day out there with the signs, it was fun. Yeah, it was nice when I came in around 5.30 to set up for tonight's broadcast. And I noticed uh, all the faces and everyone, great smiles. You didn't see, you know, everyone just like sticking to their sides. Everyone was moving around. It's a big social event. Yeah, it was a great social yeah. event. A lot of families. My fa I'm very thankful to my family, my parents, my son, my husband. Got a lot of support. A lot of helpers. A lot of helpers, yeah. That's great. So what's next other than picking up all those signs? Gosh, I think I have to get sworn in. Yeah, I think there's in. ethics training. Ethics training and yeah. uh, they, I think our first meeting is in June. So I'm looking forward to getting to work Excellent. and working with Meg and the rest of the school committee. Well, that's outstanding. Well, congratulations Thank again. You very much. Thank and you, you take care. Thank oh, you. yeah. A lot of fun. So, wow. How, how's it going over there, Tom? You still doing it? Oh, come this way. We'll see you, Tom, how we. Uh, well, I got to get the exact numbers, Mike. Well, how close? You anything? No? All right. So, needless to say, it was a good race. Everyone had a lot of fun today. Uh, the Connor said the turnout was good. It, it was a little slow in the beginning. Yep. Uh, then after the, or what I like to call the the real morning rush, you know, all the school bus or whatever, he says it started to pick up. Uh, then, of course, you slow down. You're after lunchtime. But once the work got out, uh, this place was nonstop. I, I got here a little after 5.30, and... People were fighting over parking spots out there. It was yeah. just that packed. Plus, the game just got out, too. The parking lot looked uh, pretty busy all day. Right. There was a lot of people out there campa uh, campaigning as well. And it was just a beautiful day for it, too. You can't beat it weather-wise. But uh, oh. it's, it was uh, it was a madhouse over here. It was, it was yeah. pretty busy. Yeah. I mean, so. I, I remember all the years that they all come in, and they couldn't wait for 8 o'clock so they could come in and get warm and, you know, take off their soaking jackets, but they, right. they come prepared. They have the tents, they get the coffee, they get the cool, what, you know, whatever the weather is, these guys are prepared and it's a big social event and they plan. I, I mean, these guys are there just about all day from 6 a.m. setting up all the way to now taking down the signs. And it, it seems to come down a lot faster. Right. I think they just throw all the signs in the back of someone's pickup truck. Right. Uh, and uh, this seems like a year that more people are into town politics. You saw how busy town meeting was. Right. Uh, I think on yeah. night one, it was, what, 500 people? Yeah, just under is, 500. Yeah, which yep. is a record for the last three years. Uh, so people are engaged this year, and there's a lot going on in town, a lot of important issues, sure. and a lot of people that care. So I think uh, right. this year, more than the, the past few years, you, you see a lot of people getting involved. Well, you know, it's funny. You had a record number of people involved this year. But we only had one candidate in here afterwards. They were all, because the right, counting went so fast. viewing parties now. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the viewing parties, they like to say hi to all the candidates at home watching us. And congratulations to yeah, all the congratulations winners. Congratulations to all the winners. And, and, you know, good job for all the people that didn't win, because we know you're going to be back. You're going to get yourself involved one way or the other. Um, and, you know, hopefully you, some of you enjoyed that music while we waited. I know of one person that didn't, and we'll be talking to her later. I won't mention any names, but anyways, <laughs> right, Jane? Anyways, so a lot of people, but nobody's here. The place is empty. Now it's a ghost town. Normally, while they wait, they all hang around here. Well, I, I heard uh, a lot of people just want to see us on TV, Mike. That's, that's why, true, yeah. I, I that's have, why they're having the viewership parties this I year. I know that, so. but now I don't have to panic and, and think of things <laughs> to say. We're just... You know, kill a little time, stretch it out because I got to get at least a half hour for this program. So, <laughs> we uh, that wraps up. All the political uh, stuff is done. We'll wrap it up while we get everybody. We're still on the air. We'll wrap it up uh, our sports season. We have uh, baseball. Right, yeah, we got baseball, softball, the spring season, believe it or not, already coming to an end. We're in the final two weeks. Yeah. This week here, we have uh, senior night for boys and girls lacrosse. Yep. We'll do that on Thursday and Friday night. Um, and then after that, graduation. 
The graduation will be June 1st this year, Friday on HCAM at, uh, I think it's 6 o'clock. I think senior recognition is 7 on Thursday, and then Friday it's, it's an hour earlier, so I think it's 6 o'clock. And uh, that will be live on HCAM, because uh, I know they only limit the tickets to like two or three per family. And so the rest of you have to watch it on HCAM, right. which is good. It's good for us. Um, we will be covering the eighth grade promotional ceremony here at the middle school. Uh, that is June 19th. I think it's a Tuesday night. So 6 o'clock, we'll be going live from here and see the eighth grade promotional ceremony. And, of course, John Ritz, he's out there covering all the uh, spring concerts. The uh, kicked off yesterday, the Sunday's Pops concert at the uh, high school. Great little fundraiser for the uh, Hopkins Music Association that they do every year. Um, the, it's always a packed house. Fantastic venue. Right, and it's a fun time of year. You get all the outdoor music events and a lot of uh, outdoor events that will be going on in, in town as well throughout the summer. Sure, we're going to be moving into concerts on the common. Right, soon. yep. Wow. A lot of stuff. Absolutely. Well, I think that's about it. I don't think we need to stretch anymore. Bob's giving me a signal. He says, wrap it up. He wants to go home. I, think, uh, I don't blame him. It's it's uh, the end of the the really busy time of year, the the political season yeah, yeah. With, with the with the town election and the town meeting. So, Hey, uh, I'm glad it's it, It's been a busy couple months. So. Sure, three nights of town <laughs> meeting, you know? Right. Yay. All right. Well, Tom, good job. Thanks again for uh, hanging out with us tonight. Thank you. I'd like to take a... Camera person, I entered Alex. Good job back there. I, I think I can't tell. I'll look at it later when I edit the footage. And uh, and Matt for all his help with the setup. And Bob, Bob is just great. Uh, I don't know why, because he's so mean to me sometimes. But he's just a great guy. I can't blame him. So I'm Mike Tarosi. I fought Tom Daffy. We're done with the election results, and uh, we'll see you next year. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.